a current snapshot of the space race. The space race used to be the playground of the wealthiest and most politically connected governments, but not anymore. Today, private companies are joining forces with governments, and in some cases, leading the way to a future among the stars. Let's quickly recap the history of space exploration and then jump directly into the latest developments of the space race. History History was made in 1969 when humanity first stepped foot on extraterrestrial soil. At the time, this extraordinary achievement seemed like the start of the space exploration era. Would the 70s and 80s become known as the space-faring decades? Would we call another planet home sooner than we thought? And would the space race continue to bring us Earth dwellers cutting-edge technology like memory foam and Velcro? The world was buzzing with excitement for what was to come. And yet, just three short years later, in 1972, NASA embarked on its final Apollo mission. With the spacesuits back in storage, there was little hope for further lunar explorations. That is, until now. SpaceX On the 16th of April 2021, it was announced that NASA had chosen SpaceX to build the next generation spacecraft to return humans to the moon. SpaceX was awarded a $2.9 billion contract to build a lunar lander for the Artemis program. NASA Administrator Steve Jurgic said, The Artemis lunar landing is a key piece to our Moon to Mars strategy. Interestingly, SpaceX was the only company to be awarded the contract, breaking traditional protocol. NASA typically prefers to run a few contracts simultaneously to stimulate competition, but not this time. Reportedly, Jeff Bezos's Blue Origin was one of the proposals they rejected. Casey Dreyer, a senior space policy advisor, said in a tweet that while still congratulating SpaceX for that win, she is shocked by NASA going with a single provider. If the project goes to plan, astronauts will return to the moon by 2024. But lunar landings aren't the only project on SpaceX's horizon. SpaceX has the ambitious goal of landing on Earth's most hospitable neighbor, Mars. In 2024, they plan to send the first uncrewed Starship to Mars. The Starship vehicle is a reusable rocket and spacecraft combination that Musk's team is currently developing in the company's South Texas facility. Amazingly, Elon Musk has revealed plans to get humans on Mars by 2026 a good way ahead of NASA's plans to put the first humans on Mars in 2033. Many people are skeptical of the 2026 timeline, but in 2020, Musk said he was highly confident the company will land humans on Mars in about six years. However, the word about raises even more alarm bells. Mars missions only launch when the ideal conditions arise every 26 months when the Sun, Earth and Mars are aligned giving the shortest distance between Earth and Mars. Essentially, if Musk misses the 2026 launch, he'll have to wait until 2028. Blue Origin In what some call the Battle of the Billionaires, Jeff Bezos' space exploration company Blue Origin is another prominent player in the space race and a direct competitor to SpaceX. While they lost out to the contract with NASA, they do have some other exciting things going on. On May 5th, 2021, Blue Origin launched an online auction for the first civilian seat in its tourism spacecraft. In a statement, Blue Origin said, This seat will change how you see the world. However, the lucky civilian won't be the first civilian in space since a handful of other people have tagged onto government missions. However, Blue Origin hopes this trip will spark a new era of commercial space travel. Another exciting project, which, by the way, directly competes with SpaceX's Starlink project, is Project Kyber. Blue Origin is planning to send over 3,000 satellites into orbit in order to offer a worldwide broadband service delivering high-speed internet, even to the most remote places on Earth. Talking about remote places, check out our video about unexplored places on Earth to see some of the most impressive remote places. Going back to the topic, Blue Origin has a really ambitious long-term goal. If we jump a few centuries into the future, Jeff Bezos wants his company to build habitable space stations for millions of people. With the current cost of launching mass into orbit, this project would be far from doable. So like SpaceX, Blue Origin currently works on the reusability of their rockets to bring the costs down. 
Rocket Lab Rocket Lab is a private American aerospace manufacturer currently operating a lightweight orbital rocket called the Electron. They describe their mission as making life on Earth better by helping deliver the satellites we rely on in modern life. Like SpaceX and Blue Origin, Rocket Lab is also making headlines for developing reusable rockets. However, Rocket Lab is taking a unique approach to reusability, designing heat shields that can withstand temperatures of 2,400 degrees Celsius during re-entry and passively utilizing the atmosphere and parachute for deceleration. In contrast, SpaceX's Falcon 9 uses power decelerations. Other developments in the space race Even a decade ago, having a degree in astrobiology was met with skepticism and confusion. You want to study alien life? Great, but you're perhaps a century too early. Well, today, it doesn't seem so crazy. In 2020, scientists discovered suspicious levels of the biosignature phosphine on Venus, a compound with no known abiological origin. The search for extraterrestrial life has been invigorated, and some companies are developing crafts to aid in this search. One such organization is John Hopkins Applied Physic Lab, which has created the Dragonfly craft. The craft was selected to take part in NASA's next New Frontiers mission to Saturn's moon, Titan. It will investigate how far prebiotic chemistry has progressed and look for signs of water based on hydrocarbon-based life. So, that's it for today. What do you think about the space race? Would you ever board such a rocket to fly into space? Let us know in the comments below. And while you're at it, leave us a like and a subscription right away. Of course, as always, leave some comments with feedback and video requests and you might see your name popping up when it's time again for What's Next?